Hey everybody, it's Ray, and today I'm going to show you how to update your AT&T Moto X to Android 4.4.4 KitKat. Um, right now my Moto X is on 4.4.2. Um, so the first thing we're going to do is make sure you're connected to the Wi-Fi, and we're going to go and scroll over to the Settings app. Okay, from there we're going to scroll down to About Phone. So I'm just going to put this logo over here to obscure some of the some more sensitive information. And you can see right here that I am on Android 4.4.2. Now to update, we're just going to click to System Updates, okay? And it will bring you to the screen that tells you, oh look, there's new stuff. Uh, some highlight features include 4.4.4 KitKat, include, you know, ability to pause video recording, updated phone dialer app, and you can see the full change log here, which I am going to load up. Um, let's take a look at what is here. We've got some improved camera image quality including better consistency of exposure, more realistic uh, flash coloring, improved photos in low light can conditions using front camera, camera pause, video recording, add the ability to pause video recording with a convenient pause resume button on the viewfinder, update phone dialer with new graphical layout and colors to improve consistency and usability. Okay, so just before we go do that, we're just going to go to the phone dialer and see what it actually looks like before. So this is kind of what the phone dial looks like on 4.4.2. Um, and we're going to see what it looks like at 4.4.4. Okay, so we're going to go back over to the system updates. And then we're going to click like this. And it says, hey, update is currently being downloaded. You will be notified when download is complete. Okay. So, so now... So as you can see now, the system update is downloading. It is 151.5 megabytes. Uh, it's going to take about 11 minutes. And I don't know why it's going to take so long, but 13 minutes. Now it's saying 13 minutes. I don't know why. Maybe I'll turn off some of the Wi-Fi devices in my house and see how it goes. Actually, I think I'm downloading some other stuff like this. Additional file for Dead Trigger 2 or whatever it is. So we'll check in on it later. Okay, and we're back. The update just finally finished downloading. Uh, it took less than a couple of minutes. Um, so we're just going to hit this and then install now. So you can see that's going to power off. It's going to install. It's going to do its own thing. Maybe it'll restart a few times. And then we will boot up and be on 4.4.4 KiCat. My custom boot screen is still there. And the old familiar Andy the Android with his little updating stomach. Let's do your thing. Okay, so we are at the 6 minute and 20 second point, and uh, it took a while to install. So make sure you have your charger in your phone because it sucks some battery out. Come on, reboot. forever and it's optimizing all the apps here we go <sighs> might be better to not have too many apps installed maybe if you want to speed this along got 67 apps that need to be optimized this could be a little while depending on the app All right, actually that didn't take so long. So we're almost there, almost there. I guess it skipped through a lot of the crappy apps that don't really need much optimization. Here we go, finishing boot. All right, whew. We are there. 
and to show you I'm going to go to the settings I will scroll down to about phone and you can see right here 4.4.4 that is how you update um, your phone your Moto X to 4.4.4 Oh, and one more thing, uh, just so you guys can see it for yourselves, we're going to go into the phone dialer and you can see what's the difference. You can see right here, uh, it's now blue and white instead of, you know, dark gray or blackish and that Tron-like color. Um, I kind of like the old version, I'm not really liking this new version, but um, I guess Google's trying to create a lighter, brighter and flatter UI. So that's that.